Well, I'm absolutely delighted now to be joined by Dr. Lawrence Molenkamp, who is the editor of Physics Review B. Dr. Molenkamp, first of all, thank you very much indeed for joining us today. My pleasure. We know Happy you're a busy here. fellow and we're, we're, we're very grateful for the time. So Physics Review B, uh, what's, what's the plan for Physics Review B? What have you got on your agenda for this year? Well, I, I got on as an editor about a year ago and this, this was a kind of a change with, with how things have been previously. So I'm a, a full-time scientist. And so what I'm trying to, to build FISRB into is to the journal that, that scientists like to see. And that means that, that we're building a very close connection uh, to the community, um, talking with, with actual scientists on, on how they wanted to do the publications. Um, and the other thing is that actually uh, we think we should uh, offer something extra from the archive because everybody can go to the archive these days. So we really want to offer a, a quality journal in condensed matter physics. And so what we're doing basically is, is, is really try to impose uh, physics criteria on each and every publication that we, that we finally publish. So what are some of the changes that uh, readers might see? Um, well, some things readers will see, hopefully, in the quality of the, the publications that we have. Um, writers may see that, that if they are in a certain topic, they will just only encounter one editor because we are now specializing our editors so that they can make more judged uh, judgments on, more based judgments on the papers that are being submitted. Uh, so that's one thing they will see. Um, <coughs> They may notice that we are not sending out all papers for review anymore, so we have more stringent quality criteria. Basically, we have to do this because there's only uh, so little referees out there and uh, you don't want to, to overload all of them. Uh, and if people are having uh, complaints about the way that, that the journal is editing their paper, um, there's always a very close connection with, with board members who are active scientists who can finally give an uh, idea on, 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 on whether, whether the paper should be published or not. So we are encouraging this, this close interaction with the board quite a lot. Talking about uh, online, now I know uh, Physics Review B in many ways a pioneer of, uh, of uh, being online and, uh, and all scientists collaborate that way. But what are some of the challenges that uh, you face in publishing a, a review digitally? Um, well, one of the issues is um, that it's been tough for people to, to have access to the papers when they are traveling, because usually you get access to your uh, university. So this is something that APS is now trying to improve on. Uh, you can register to, uh, to go mobile, uh, and that will enable you to, uh, to uh, read your journal, uh, say, on your uh, cell phone. Um, we're modernizing our website, eh? so we were one of the first to be online, which has meant that perhaps right now we don't look that fresh anymore, but there's a modernization going on. We're adapting again also to mobile phone applications. Um, yeah, this is the type of thing that, that we're doing, and it's of course going all going in line with the other APS publications because, well, we're in this together and we have a general uh, way we look at things. You yourself, uh, I think, uh, won this year's 2013 uh, Physics Frontiers uh, Award. First of all, congratulations. Thank you very much. And second of all, what was that for? <coughs> That's for the discovery of topological insulators. Um, yeah, so this, these are a new type of materials that are insulating in the bulk, but have a conducting surface state. And so we were the first to run into this in 2007. Um, and yeah, so this has been uh, quite a ride uh, to, to witness. Uh, of course, it, it's fascinating to, to really find a new state of matter. And um, of course, we're very happy that it also is encountering so much recognition now. Quite a challenge for you, isn't it? Having your, your obviously your own research and at the same time spearheading this uh, reform with Physics Review B. Yes, it's, 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 uh, it's a lot of work. But on the, hand, on the other hand, Physics Review B helps me a bit because I can use the money that APS tell, pays me to do this FISRB work to buy off my teaching. And actually that makes me more flexible because FISRB I can do when I'm on the road and teaching, of course, you have to be there. So it, that, that's how I can cope with it. Well, thank you very much indeed for taking the time to talk to us. We appreciate that and good luck with all your projects. Thank, thank you. you. It's been my pleasure.